Hello everyone. So in our previous video, we saw how we can pre-populate the value from one field to another field using business rule. So we, we tried with the different kind of fields like lookup fields, string field, uh, like text uh, or number fields. All these things can be populated using the business rules. So we have different ways to populate this. We can use JavaScript or plugins, business rule, power automate, workflows, different ways are there. So uh, to show you example, suppose if I'm add, giving any value here, one, two, three, you can see the other from this field is getting populated from the main without saving or anything. Or so this is the uh, number field. Now, if I give anything in this lookup, this primary contact is getting populated. So it is getting instantly populated with the business rule. But now the requirement is we I need to concatenate two fields like first name and last name and I need to populate in the full name. So suppose if I give here like Sunday okay, and if I give here Monday. So the Sunday and Monday need to get populated in the full name. So this one we cannot uh, do with the business rule. So for that we are going to use the process in Dynamics 365. Or also we can use the power automate to do the same but i feel uh, workflow is better but uh, anyhow this is going to be depreciated later but uh, the step is going to be same in the logic is going to be same in power automate as well so that one i'll cover in another video so as of now let's create a process uh, with this account entity and see how we can populate this two different field value into one field so for that uh, let's go to this is the solution this is account okay let's go to the classic view for more user friendly experience advanced setting okay it is already here i think so here this is the solution and in the solution we should have processes we have processes here i'm going to create a new process so set set full name okay and uh, category let's select it as workflow entity i want it is account entity blank run this as no okay click on okay now it will be triggered whenever a new record is created okay and uh, this one will be after the when once when the record is saved so let's add the step here add stage sorry not this one update a record okay because we are updating the full name of that record so uh, just hold on how uh, we should get the properties options here now okay it came now so uh, okay i clicked on twice so let's just delete this one remove this and in this one let's give the name as set full name set full name okay and uh, uh, second. i think we have selected the wrong step let me just delete and do it again delete this step okay uh, here it takes some time to load that's why i think by mistake i selected on the um, another uh, this step so update a record here you need to have patience to load the space okay now i'm going to set the properties in the properties only we are going to map the first name and last name so here we have first name and last name right so i'm going to put it in the full name so in the full name uh, account i'm going to select the first name first name add it now i'm going to add last name add it okay so now full name will be mapped from first name and last name so click on save and close now we need to activate this process activate it and let's see the working Okay, let's close it and if we come here okay it is our app this is our app right just give a hard refresh and i'm going to give name something like this first name as dynamics and last name as power 
and one two so if i click on save now full name should get populated from first name and last name okay so the full name it is taking only first name so let's see what's wrong with our power out sorry with the process so coming to the solution where is it not this one set full name let's deactivate it and in the properties we can see what's wrong let's just okay uh, i think this both should not be together i think we need to give a little one space between both the fields then only it will get populated so first name first name add it okay let's give a space or if you want to add any default value like here you can set uh, say give the value and you can click on okay and then every time when you, uh, the same same value whatever you have given here it will be in the full name but right now we are going to set it dynamically so now select last name last name and add it Just remove this one click on ok so now we have a space if you want to give dash or anything you can give it here save and click save and close so whenever we do any changes or if you want to do any changes first you have to deactivate it and then only you can do the changes so now click on activate okay now let's see if it is working or not coming here let's click a new record and uh, anything here first first name let's give it as AA and last name as BBB now let's save it now it should come as double triple A triple B okay it is coming so now it is populating correctly so this is all about uh, populating uh, like two fields value in a single field now you know if you want to populate uh, the lookup field for that you can use the business rule like from here here we are using so for that i have already created another video you can go to my channel and you can search it i'll put it in the description as well and one more thing if you want to map the fields which are uh, see if you if i open this one this is also a kind of complex one this and this both so in this one not power automate but this field <laughs> It may be helpful that's why I'm showing you here just give me a second okay here we have so here what I'm doing is I'm mapping it but we are, I'm using different uh, this is different different entity right this is contact entity this is case entity this is lead and opportunity so for this I have used the out of the box field mapping so first name of here we can populate it to this case title and from here we can populate it to the topic from here uh, we can populate it to the this one so this all can be mapped with just uh, one step so for that you can follow this video to know more and uh, also if you have options at values so like here itself we have this types right so Sunday so now if you want to map this to another another option set value it is not possible via business rules or via process so you can do this uh, using the power automate okay and here for that also I have created this video you can see uh, in this one okay you can see uh, this is mapping for the using the switch cases in power automate so for that also you can uh, see it for more details uh, and uh, if you have any other doubts you can uh, put it in the comments I'll try to resolve it <clears throat> uh, and to know more about the future video I'll be covering polymorphic lookup, how we can create the polymorphic lookup and how, how we can use it in any app, that one. Apart from that, uh, if you have any specific topic that also you can put in the comments, I'll try to cover it. Yeah, that's all for today. If you have any doubt, you can put in the comment. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.